Hey friends, I'm D Vegan. I make three of my favorite summer fruit together in a fruit salad as my main part, and that is peaches, nectarines, and apricots. Pretty similar, right? To me, that is somehow unfamily. Stone fruit. And really, one is more delicious than the other. Peaches and nectarines here. Two peaches and two nectarines. They are more sweet here. Nectarines have this wonderful sweet and sour flavor. Peaches are a little bit more bitter, but they also have a wonderful peach flavor. How to describe? They're just millimeters away from each other. Though you would always understand, uh, taste a peach from a uh, from a nectarine. That's such a difference, you know. <laughs> we all know that. Um, both are delicious. I want to combine them because I like the small nuances. They can make a very exciting experience. I tried that today because we have this beautiful fruit here and apricots also in that same group to me. Stone fruit botanically, but um, also somehow I put them all together in my mind. Yeah. Now I put them together in a fruit salad. Let's see what happens. And um, <clears throat> I just want to make, these are precious fruit to me, really, these beautiful flavors. Ah, I like it so much, so I want to make something very simple there. And the dressing is a cashew cream. And I put a little bit of cinnamon into it. So a cinnamon cashew cream. Yeah. Cinnamon is very nice with um, sweet desserts, with all kinds of fruit, it's super healthy. Um, super high in antioxidants, there's almost nothing else. Cinnamon is super high. Spices in general, spices and herbs are the second healthiest food we have. Green vegetables are first, healthiest at all, no, no debate. Then spices and herbs, really. Second healthiest food. I always put them in the food when I can. So I blend now some cashews with bananas. I have two bananas here to make it a creamy dressing. And a handful of cashews, half a cup or so. A cashew cream, yeah. You can make a cashew cream basically with bananas and cashews with cashews only and water, or with cashews and dates. There are different ways to make a cashew cream. Um, today I put everything in, <laughs> the bananas and the dates, and one lemon. It's nice, it is so nice for bananas. Your lemon brings out the best flavor from bananas, I would say. Uh, bananas have a complex flavor too, like many fruit. Yeah, there are thousands of phytonutrients or each single fruit, each single plant has thousands of these plant nutrients, plant-made nutrients, thousands, each one, each single one. They're all different and so they have a complex flavor usually if you really uh, go to taste it really into it, if you meditate a little, a little bit on it, if you taste it really <laughs> with, with enjoyment and so, uh, with a little bit of depth, depth. And the banana uh, has also bitter tones. If you go to the peel of a fruit, you always taste this overtones, like in a music, yeah? You, hear, you have, a, have a tone like a C, for example, that is always the same, defined by the, by the um, vibration, by the number. But if you go to an instrument to play the C, yeah? a, a trumpet or a, or, a, or a violin or a piano, you have different overtones. Each instrument is defined not only by the main tone, but the, the, the temperature of the instrument, as to, so to say, is refined by the overtones. Every instrument produces different overtones with the same tone. In the same way you feel the peel, you eat the peel of a fruit, then you taste a little bit the overtones in the flavors. And with banana, that is obviously bitter. <laughs> banana peel is bitter and the bitter tones are also in the banana itself, in the, in the flesh. And you put lemon to it, the, the sweet tones comes out and uh, make a little bit the best of the banana. Um, that's how, a little bit how I try to explain it to myself. I didn't read that somewhere, it's just my experience, you know. Why are bananas so delicious with lemon? <laughs> Might be a reason here. Just my idea. So, and now I would put dates into it, three dates, small dates, pitted of course, and 
a good amount of cinnamon. Here is the cinnamon. This is the super spice here. Um, super high in antioxidants, really super high. You don't need that much. And it goes very nicely with, together with um, sweet desserts. You know, cinnamon is very, another one would be vanilla. It's my to go to. But uh, cinnamon is so much more inexpensive and is super healthy, of course. So now I put a little bit of water just to get the blender started. I don't need that much water because I have bananas in there. They make it, they make it um, runnier. With dates, I would have used more water because the dates are dried already. But the bananas are very juicy. So just a small amount of water to get it going. Let's see what I need. Second, blender dance. First blending here. I wanted to say second blending afterwards, but now it's tasted. Second blending comes later. It is runny. I don't need to do more water. I just, there's no water needed almost. Let's taste it. Mmm, mm, it's so good. The cinnamon comes out nicely. It's a little bit too sour. But that is nice for dressing. Dressing have to be a little bit over seasoned because once you put them onto the salad, they use a little bit of flavor. So I usually over season a little bit. So a little bit more lemon than I would use what you would use in a simple smoothie or so. When you put it on a salad, the, the flavor goes down in intensity. So now I put the fruit together I have for my main part. Here I show you again. Uh, these are the nectarines. They look almost similar, almost the same, but a little bit different. They look, you look closely. Yeah, they are a little bit different. Peaches, nectarines. <laughs> yeah, two of each. That's enough for a big fruit salad today for me. And uh, um, they are sweet and sour tones in these peaches and nectarines. The peaches are a little bit more the original fruit, they have some more bitter flavors. Yeah, you, can, you taste it with a peel again. Nectarines have a thinner peel and it's really more sweet. It's a little bit different from the original peach from where the nectarine has derived, I guess. But the peach uh, has a very unique flavor. If you have a very good uh, peach, you can't beat it. It's so perfect. But it has bitter tones. And uh, apricot is also such an original flant, uh, fruit, I would say. And they also have more bitter tones. You know, if you have these... Um, more of these, um, uh, um, I don't know how that's called, if you, if you um, make a, a, new, a new fruit. Yeah. Uh, you, of course, the people want to make it more sweet and more, more nice for our taste buds. So they take out the bitter parts. Many vegetables that we buy today as not normal, they have been breeded bred at that time, at that, in that way, so that the natural bitter tones are also poisons. Some, some plants have poisons in, the, in their natural forms. They take it out so it is better for us to consume. And it's similar with these fruit. And the, the apricots, they have a more natural, complex flavor. This is a little bit more sour, also tart a little bit. Um, apricots have a little bit more sourness. Um, but that's a flavor profile, I would say. Yeah, I call these what kind of, how many sour tones are in it. And so this is what I call flavor tone, a flavor profile, sweet, sour, bitter. What's in there, flavor profile. So this is, I have here three different of uh, my favorite fruits, see? And now I will go back to my dressing. I will do another blending, a second blending because the cashews and the dates, they need a second blending because after the first blending they soak very fast when they're broken down to small pieces. And then I can, after soaking, the pieces get bigger again from the water inside, it goes inside. And then you blend it again and it easily gets very creamy. And that's the best flavor. Let's, let's do the second blending, blend your dance.
it's so much fun making food, especially when it's about fruit. Just look at the colors. Ah, I begin to dance. So here, yeah, that looks good. I'll taste it again. Oh, I shouldn't be bad. I just want to see what really is the change after the second blending. Is there really a difference? I always want to fry. I always want to feel it every single time. It's always a little bit different. Mm. Ah. Yeah, a little bit cinnamon is in there, a bit lemon, the cashew is buttery, the banana is there background a little bit, neutral almost, wonderful. Now I show you now the dressing when it flows over the fruit. And you put new nuts into fruit, at the same time it is also more nutrient dense. The fat and the nuts, that makes it a little bit more nutritious, and then the fruit salads, um, with the nuts in there, they keep a little longer. Some people say that it's um, heavier. It is heavier to put nuts into fruit, of course, but it is nothing we cannot digest. Our body, our body is perfectly designed to digest everything together. So it's a matter of your taste, of your constitution, of your day form. If you like it more heavy or a light fruit, if you eat only fruit, you eat, have to eat more and more. If you put nuts in there, you have to eat less, can wait a little bit. So that's up to you and how you feel at that day. Usually I like fruit and nuts together. It's my perfect food, I would say. But um, some people are saying they are a little bit concerned about the nuts in there. Well, it's a little bit heavier, but if you don't want that, just leave the nuts out. Yeah? And just eat the fruit by itself. They're always a wonderful combination. <sighs> I like this flavor, I like the creaminess. Yeah. I like also the calories, they're adding more calories to it. It keeps for some time and I have done some more time off from the kitchen. I can go to my desk or whatever I want to do. I don't want to eat all the time, but that's up to you, of course. For, for health reason, there's absolutely nothing that uh, says don't put nuts into fruit. There is no reason. If you have questions about that, feel free to ask. Yeah. I will always happy to answer and give sources and the exact explanation and so. Here, this is uh, my topping, my little gem on top. Yeah. My recipes have three parts usually. That's the middle part, the main part, then the dressing, second, and the third is a topping. Like this here, precious gem on top. I have red, um, strawberries. They're also in season right now, I love strawberries. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Very special fruit too. Very special. Um, and um, every fruit has a little story to tell. Yeah, berries, strawberries, um, uh, also. But I'm not so much interested in that. I rather have these flavors and the texture, the colors. That's what I'm mainly interested in as a chef, naturally. But it's always nice to have a story to tell about the fruit. It makes it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more life. See, that's my breakfast for today. It's a apricot nectarine peach salad in cinnamon cashew cream. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy already the video. If you like, like, subscribe to MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.